Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we will learn how we can create a bootable installation media for macOS Sonoma on a Windows PC. So uh, if you are trying to create a bootable installation media on Mac, then that is a very straightforward process. So for that, right, you can simply go to this video. I have created a detailed video on how you can create a bootable USB for macOS Sonoma on Mac. But when you are trying to create a bootable installation media for macOS Sonoma on a Windows PC, so the steps are a little tricky. So let's dive in. So first let's talk about the things required. So first you need a macOS Sonoma boot files. I will provide the download links in the video description. Then you need a macOS Sonoma DMG file. The third one is TransMac software that is free for Windows. Then you need a Windows PC and a pen drive with at least 16 GB of storage space. So the first step is to download and install TransMac. So simply you can Google TransMac and download the file from the official website so you can simply download this file extract it and install it the steps are pretty simple the next step is to download the macOS Sonoma DMG file so for that you need to visit my website techrichard.com go to the search bar and search for Sonoma DMG so click on this post and you can find all the versions and their down respective download links i will provide all these links in the video description below so the next step is to download the macOS sonoma boot files so these links will also be provided in the video description so once everything has been downloaded the next step is to open the dmg file so this is the dmg file that i have downloaded so simply double click on it and this will start with the transmac software so since we are running on the trial version so we have to wait for some time now click run now you can see that this is the dmg file that we have downloaded so simply click this untitled folder click on this and simply drag it to the desktop so i have already dragged it and this is the folder with the contents of the macOS Sonoma. So once done, simply close your transfer. The next step is to click on start and type in CMD and simply select run as administrator. Now insert your pen drive and follow the syntax codes. So first you have to type disk part followed by list disk so this is my pen drive that is the disk 2 so we will type select disk 2 so now it says disk 2 is now the selected disk now simply type in clean so once clean is done now type convert gpt so basically what we are doing is we are converting the mbr format that is the default format to the and more advanced format for partition table so this is the gpt so simply type in convert gpt and press enter now you can see that this part successfully converted the selected disk to the gpt format the next command that you have to run is create partition followed by primary and simply press enter now you can see that the disk part succeeded in creating the specified partition now you can simply type in exit and close your CMD. Now the next step is to again open your TransMac but this time you have to right click on it and select run as administrator. Now select yes. Now we have to wait for another 10 seconds. So once this is run, done simply click on run. Now you simply click on your pen drive 
So uh, as you click on the pen drive, you will see this pop up that says no Mac volumes found. So simply click on OK. Now right click on this and simply click format disk for Mac. Click on yes. You can type in any name that you like. Mac OS Sonoma and click OK. Now are you sure you want to continue? Simply click on yes. Now this will format our pen drive in the format that is supported by the Mac operating system. So as you can see that the format is now complete. Now simply click on OK. Now let's go and give it a look. Now you can see that the pen drive is now active. Now simply click right click on it and properties. Now you can see that the file system is now HFS plus. So this is the file system that supports the Mac OS. Now, now what you have to do is simply extract the file contents from the Mac OS Sonoma boot file. So simply right click on it, select WinRAR and extract to the folder. The password is techreacher.com and simply click OK. So once these files are extracted, we will copy these files to the USB. So this is the folder that has been extracted. Simply double click on it. So as you can see that these are the contents of the file. So if you do not see anything right here, simply click on these three buttons. Go to options, click on view and simply take select this show hidden files and folders and drives and apply and click OK. Now the next step is to select all these files, right click on it, select copy, now go to your pen drive and simply paste them. So the files will now be copied. So these are basically the macOS Sonoma boot files. So simply right click on this folder, click copy, now again go back to your pen drive simply right click on it and paste. Now this process will take some time depending upon the speed of your pen drive. So let's wait for a while. So once all the files are copied, you are good to go and your macOS Sonoma bootable USB is ready to be used. So let's do a quick summary of all these steps. So first you have to download the required files that include TransMac. So you have to download the TransMac from the official website and install it in your Windows. The second is the macOS Sonoma DMG file. I have provided all the links in the video description. The third is the macOS Sonoma boot file. Now once the now extract the contents of your macOS Sonoma DMG file using the TransMac software and drag and drop them on your desktop. These are the main macOS Sonoma installer files. Then using CMD you have to convert your USB to GPT format. Then you have to extract the contents of the macOS Sonoma boot zip file and copy the contents of the boot folder onto the USB followed by the main installer folder. Now simply, now let's do a test installation. So remove your pen drive from your windows and insert it into your Mac. Now since I am running Apple with M2 processor, so I will press and hold the power button. So now you can see that this is the bootable installation media that we have successfully created for macOS Sonoma. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.